just gonna have a look at this 2016 Mercedes Sprinter four berth camper van with six seat belted seats. As I've said, it's a 2016. It's a medium wheelbase, high top, and it's got side windows with a side opener there. We'll have a look in the cab first. It's got these lovely blue leather seats, which are unmarked. The van itself's done 81,000 miles. It's a six speed manual. It's got air conditioning, it's got cruise control, and it is absolutely lovely to drive. Um, I believe it's got sat nav and Bluetooth, as you'd expect on a modern vehicle. Lights here, it comes with two, two keys, reversing camera up here, and it's got a uh, Eberspacher digital controls here for your heating. And your Mercedes books are up here. There's a double swivel passenger seat here, which is very easy to operate. It's the smoothest operating um, swivel seats we've come across. I believe they're from RJ, R&J Camper Solutions there. And they are bolted down um, with these bolts here. We'll have a look now in the inside. I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at the back first. So your hookup cable goes in here. Um, there's a knack to it and I don't know. I've not actually done it myself. but. You pull the cap off and the hookup cable goes onto there. You've got a lovely step. Um, you've got your bunk beds, the back of your bunk beds. You've even got a 12 volt point there for maybe a, a cool box. There's your hookup cable there with the, uh, the adapter on the end. And this is a roller shutter, so you might have a toilet under here. Doors have got these black blackout blinds on them. Now we'll have a look on the inside. So I've never seen or heard of a layout like this, but it's incredibly practical. You've got three seat belted seats on this uh, high quality rock and roll bed, two seat belted seats there and a seat belt for the driver. So you've got six seat belted seats in total. The driver's seat does swivel around as well. Uh, you've got this extending table here. Under this seat, this isn't currently fastened down as you might see, it's moving about. There's the uh, movement for that. You've got your, I believe that that's twin leisure batteries. Twin 100 amp leisure batteries, yeah. Two leisure batteries there with your heavy duty split charge system. So when you're driving, it's charging the leisure batteries. There's also a big solar panel on the roof. Uh, this is your smart charger here, um, which actually is Bluetooth. So you can control this with an app. Sorry about the blurring there. And you've got a thousand watt inverter here, which is wired up to one of the two sockets on these two points here. So one socket's for your hookup, one socket's for your inverter, which is a brilliant way of doing it because it's safe and there's no um, switching plugs around when you run the inverter, none of that. It's really straightforward. So in the back here, you've got a sink and a two burner hob. You've got a fridge. Storage, that's a chopping board. And you've got your gas bottle and your fresh and waste water here. And you've got three soft close door uh, drawers. Lovely soft close action. You've got two 12 volt um, cigarette lighter points, two USBs here, additional cupboards up here a wardrobe and storage there 
toilet ro uh, roller under the bed, as I've mentioned. Uh, I believe there's some, I'm just gonna turn the power on here. These lights are on, um, turn the lights on. These lights are on touch. All of the lights here are on touch. There's a light in the fan, which we'll come to, and the bed has touch spotlights, which if you hold are actually dimmable and touch off. You've got cigarettes and USBs in there, cigarette USB there, and there's an LED strip light in here, which I believe is Bluetoothable. What else can I show you? So up here we've got a Max Air. Um, quite expensive remote control ceiling fan, which is all remote controllable and it tells you your internal temperature and you can set a temperature where it automatically opens. So if I press up, it turns the fan on and it winds open the roof light and it can extract all blow and it can quite effectively remove a lot of the heat out of the van. The van is obviously insulated as well and has blinds, uh, curtains on the windows, sorry. But this is a great idea and they do advertise that you can drive with these on as well. Obviously you've got your cab aircon as well. And your battery level meters, seeing that both the batteries are charged and your water pump. And when this is on, the fridge is on. But with a solar panel, you'll have no issues and twin leisure batteries. You'll have no issues with the fridge ever running the battery down. So all in all, this is a very unusual, very practical, very high quality camper slash motorhome. It's on for $29,995 with a full MOT and habitation service.